welcome our minister Thompson. He'll be ministering the word of God to us this morning. Hallelujah. Are you ready for the word of God? Welcome, minister Thompson. I know you have a word for us. God bless you. Let's welcome him. Hallelujah. Jesus must be honored. Must be honored. Must be honored. Jesus must be honored in my life. Every day, everybody sing. Jesus must be honored, must be honored, must be honored. Jesus must be honored in my life every day. I want to thank the Lord for giving us this opportunity this morning to stand in his presence to share the word of the Lord. Also, I want to thank the leadership, our mama in the house, our pastor JB, and all the pastors and everyone for giving me this privilege to stand before you today. The word of the Lord says it's not by power, it's not by might, but by my spirit, says the Lord. By the spirit of the Lord, I come before you today. By the Spirit of the Lord, I'm standing before the people of the Lord today to share what God has placed in my heart. And I believe that God will bless everyone today. And I want to greet our viewers at home as you are watching through your tablet, through the phone, through your computer. God will touch you today in the precious name of Jesus. You will not live as you came this morning in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I want to thank God again for giving me this wonderful grace to share this awesome pulpit with our mama in the house. How many of us have credit card in this house? Amen. Many of us has credit card. When this credit card was given to you, is there any money inside? Yes. Is it legitimate? Yes. Can you spend it? No. Why? Because you need to activate it. Hallelujah. If you don't activate that card, it will not work. Despite the fact that you have money inside. The money inside is yours, but for loan, eh? But you need to do something before you spend it. And that is to activate it. So this morning, people of God, I want to share with you how to activate the power of God. In the beginning, in the book of Genesis chapter 3, God told his children, that is Adam and Eve, don't touch this tree. The tree was there before Adam was made. Amen. The tree was there, but is a dead tree. It has no power. It has no effect. Amen. And God said something to them. You see this? Do not touch. 
But Satan came and manipulate their mind and tell them something that is not true. Book of Genesis chapter 3 and verse 6. Genesis chapter 3 and verse 6. So when the woman saw the tree was good for food, that was pleasant to eyes, and a tree desirable to make one wise, she took of the fruit and ate it. Come and say activation. After eating it, that's what makes her to activate the power of death. Satan was there. He has no power. No strength. If you have a computer at home and this computer is not working and your friend came and said, okay, let me use this computer. You can say, oh, it's a dead computer. Amen. It's computer, but it's what? It's dead. So also Satan was dead. He's a living dead in the Garden of Eden. And somebody came and activated the power of death. Amen. So, dead now became a living dead. Hallelujah. That is the part of the evil. Someone activate the power of the devil. And the devil came alive. And they will say, yes, here I am. He was there before, but it was a dead devil. And someone goes there and brings the devil back to life. God says, sorry, I can't help you. You have to pay for what you have done. Listen to me, brethren. And our viewer at home, you are free to make your choice. But you cannot deny the result of your choice. Your choice, either positive or negative, has influence in your life. But when you make a wrong choice, then Satan comes and says, yeah, I'm alive. <laughs> You've got to dance with me, man. You will not dance with the devil. I say you will not dance with the devil in the precious name of Jesus Christ. I want to share with us how to activate the power of the Lord. Hallelujah. We do many things in life and sometimes we don't understand what we are doing. But today, for the rest of your life, you will not make wrong decision again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number one, first of all, I'm not a preacher, please. I was just sent to clear the road. The preacher is coming. Amen. Amen. So I'm just clearing the road. <laughs> Hallelujah. One of the ways 
to activate the power of God is through his word. God placed his word above himself. Somebody say, cost these people for me. No. Oh, God bless you. What are you doing, man? I said, cost them for me. You are lifted. That is what, what I sent you. Balak said, he said, what? <laughs> I'm sorry. These people have been blessed. I cannot curse them. That is the power of God. When we are talking of the power of God, it carries many things with it. Favor, blessing, grace, Abundant, many things comes with the power of the Lord. So for you to enjoy that power of the Lord, you need to know the words. If a lawyer go to court and be quoting a law of 1927, the judge will say, what are you saying? I don't know this. But you need to know the law before you quote it. Amen. If you don't know it, Satan will rob the person on the floor. Sometimes ago, not quite sometimes, just about a month ago, in my working place, I decided to do something. Because I found it in the word of God. The word of the Lord says, he who want to be the head among you shall be your servant. So I turn myself to servant. And I begin to do what the junior one is supposed to do. Without discussing with anyone. Without saying a word to anyone. All of a sudden, a meeting was called. In that meeting, they said, from now on, everything should go through Thompson. You need something, go to Thompson. I said, what? But I remember the word of the Lord. Not only that, on Wednesday, a paper was brought to me. They said, hey, sign this paper. I said, I'm working. When I finish, they said, no, 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 we want you to sign it now. Ah, I was okay. I went there. I have to read before I sign, right? <laughs> and I read this letter. It was a letter of promotion. Hallelujah. And I was promoted to the management team. Not only that, it came with a package. Hallelujah. Brethren, stand on the word of God. Don't sell your bad right for a small meal. Don't sell your bad right for a small meal. Stand on the word of the Lord. The word says, you shall serve your God and I will bless your water and bread and take sickness away in the midst of thee and the numbers of your days I will fulfill, says the Lord. So you won't die young. I told people, look, look, look bullet cannot kill me. Amen. The bullet that will kill me will never be manufactured. Hallelujah. Because, come on, Man made bullet, right? Yes. And God made me. Yes. So who is stronger? God. Hallelujah. Yes. Stand on the word of God. It will help you. It will help your family. It will help your future. It will help your career. 
I don't have degree, people of the Lord. I'm standing before you today, no degree. Amen. But when I enter my working place, everybody say, welcome, sir. There was a man here, oh, he's not here. They called me, they said, come and have a lunch with us. I said, no, thank you. My boss took my own food by himself and brought it to my desk. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. All you need to stand on the word of God. Believe what the God says, what the Bible says, what the servant of God says concerning you. Every time, every year when it's this clear uh, that our year of expansion, I go to my bedroom, I say, Lord, this is my year. Your servant has declared. Make it happen. I'm telling you my secret. Amen. I will stand on that word and I will be doing what I'm supposed to do. The Bible says, love your neighbor as yourself. Your neighbor could be me. I'm surrounded with Indian. But I'm a favorite. Hallelujah. They will cook in their house. They will call Thompson. Come over. I say, okay, I'm coming. We go there together. We eat together. When snow comes, I shovel my snow, shovel their house, shovel their walkway. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says, love your neighbor. As your, your neighbor could be anyone. Your neighbor could be, don't, don't, don't. Don't dislike them because you are not of the same faith. Love them. I saw my neighbor, the tire is flat. I knock on his door. I say, your tire is flat. You need to do something. Oh, thank you, Thompson. Thank you, Thompson. Hallelujah. The word of God. Number two, praying aright. Praying all right, I call something in the book of Samuel, 2 Samuel chapter 15, verse 21. I caught something there. Many, many of us are praying wrongly. And that is why we could not get answer. Sometimes you need promotion at your working place. You are praying for promotion. But you will not get that promotion until you pray for wisdom. And the wisdom will bring forth your promotion. So when you are praying, Lord, promote me. Lord, promote me. Lord, say you need wisdom. No, you need wisdom. Lord, promote me. No, 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 you need wisdom. Hallelujah. And when God gives you that wisdom, promotion follows. Will you please uh, join me to open the book of 2 Samuel, chapter 15? Then, okay, I want to read from uh, is that uh, New King James. Yes. Is it? No. Uh, 2 Samuel 15, 31, please. Amen. And one told David, saying, Ahitophel is among the conspirators with Absalom. And David said, O oh Lord, I pray thee, turn the counsel of Ahitophel to David never prayed, kill Ahitophel. <laughs> Amen. David never said, oh, uh, 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 Absalom, Lord, bind him. He said, turn the counsel of Ahitophel to foolishness. And God answered the prayer. Because they consider Ahitophel as a, an oracle of the Lord. 
When Ahitophel speak, heaven backs it up. When he gives advice, it works. So David was concerned. What am I going to do? Then, verse 23, the same chapter, verse 23. And now, when Ahitophel saw that his advice was not followed, he saddled a donkey and arose and went home into his house and to his city. And then he put his house in order and hanged himself and died. And he was buried in his father's tomb. You can see the prayer. He didn't say, Lord, kill him. As you are praying today, Lord, my enemy, kill them. Bind them. Finish them. Kill them. No! He said, I will set a table before you. In the presence of who? Your enemy. Are you praying for your enemy to die? Kill him. Bury him alive. No! If you follow the word of the Lord, he will set a table before you right in the presence of your enemy. So pray aright. I pray, Lord, give me husband. Lord, give me husband. Lord, say, you need to do away with that hunger. Amen. God said, do away with that hunger. Because if you, do, if you have husband, even with that hunger, it's nothing. Spirit of patience. Lord, if you, you know yourself, pray to God. Lord, help me. I need your help. Lord, help me. And the help of God will locate you. I said the help of God will locate you. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. Number three is faith. To activate the power of God. You need a solid faith. Bible says, it says faith without work is what? It's, the, it's not a work of mechanic. Amen. It's not a work of accountant or a tailor. No. Put your faith to work. Somebody called me from Southwest. He said, my car won't start. Please, could you please? I, I can't come. I'm so busy. And it's the end of the road at Southwest. He, she called, she called. I said, okay, wait, I will tell you what to do. Then I said, Lord, help me. I've done that before and it works for me. Then I told her, come down, turn your ignition on and start the, the car. He said, no, I've just come from the car. I said, that was then. Go now. And she went there. I said, I will be on phone with you. She went there. I can hear how she can't the car. Boom. And they start. The next thing he asked me, said, she said, what did you do? <laughs> Amen. Listen to me, brother and sisters. Everything in life have here. They can hear you. If you don't speak to them, they will remain. The Satan you don't resist will persist. The next thing you keep on asking me, say, what did you do? I said, don't worry about that. That is the power of the Lord. Instead of me going there, and God did it right here. Brethren, let us exercise our faith. If you don't exercise it, it will work. Practice, practice, practice. Practice makes what? No, perfection does not exist. Amen. Practice makes improvement. Hallelujah. You practice, you improve. You practice, you improve. You practice, you but if you don't practice it, that faith will be dormant. 
And that is why I can say to rain, stop right there. Go to this side. And it will obey. Because I've tried it before when no one was there. So I said, oh, so God is real. So God is, if you don't try it, you won't know. Exercise your faith. One time ago, some times ago, my daughter Angela, she said she put something on her ear. I said, what? Started crying. I took her to the hospital around 10 o'clock in the night. We stayed in the hospital till 1 o'clock before the doctor came. Nothing. They didn't see anything. We, I just lose my sleep for nothing. Amen. We came back home. At the exact time, the next day, she said, that thing has come again. Now I understand that. Oh, it's the power of Satan. You don't want me to sleep again. I said, that will never happen. Come. I lay my hand on that ear. And I pray. I say, it's gone. So, go and sleep. The following morning, she, I asked her, I said, how about it? He said, it's gone, daddy. Nothing here. I said, hallelujah. <laughs> Satan is just trying to torment us with nothing. And the Bible said, be anxious for nothing. Exercise your faith. No matter what, when uh, this uh, hail started blowing our house and breaking the glass and all the rest, I didn't afraid. My family were not home, but I'm so be at peace inside of me. Wherever they are, it's well with them. I never call them to say, where are you? Some people will enter play like this. They will start speaking in tongues. In the name of Jesus. Relax, man. Binding principality of here. Bind. No. Relax. Hallelujah. You, Satan, don't need that attention. You are the one giving him attention. If I come down from the, my house, I saw Satan sitting on the chair. Oh, you are there. When you don't please close the door before you go. I'll go back and sleep. What Satan wants is just your attention. And you begin to bind and loose. Bind and loose for nothing. Let's exercise our faith. Make use of it. Can I tell you something, brethren? You can raise the dead. You can heal the sick. You can pave way for your life, for your children, for your family. If I tell someone now that you will buy a plane next year, you say, oh God, relax. That one is too much. Because unbelief. Hallelujah. If somebody tells me Today, that I will be in my own house, I will say, no, it's not possible. Based on my income, based on my everything, credit card, debt, and stuff. But today, absolutely free. Debt free. It's possible, brother. Exercise your faith. As I'm preaching here today, I saw it three years, eight months ago. I wait upon the Lord. Amen. May the Lord help us. I say, may the Lord help us. Whatsoever is holding you down, I decree your release today in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Every sickness in your body, because that body is of the Lord, I come against it by the power of the resurrection. In the name of Jesus Christ. From today, you are free. Someone is looking at me right now from home. I say to you, be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Fibroid. 
back pain, spine pain, holding you down. I decree your freedom. I decree your liberty in the name of Jesus Christ. From today, you will go from strength to strength. From today, you will go from victory to victory. Whatsoever is troubling you, God will trouble them. Whoever is troubling you, God will trouble them. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. Before I finish this morning, I just want to say this. Is among the secret of Satan. Don't see any human being as your enemy. Hallelujah. I'm talking to someone right now. Human flesh, human being is not your enemy. Satan is your enemy. Someone is looking at me now. He's talking about his mother-in-law. That my mother-in-law is not nice. My mother-in-law is this, is that. That's a pure lie. I'm saying to you today, if you can believe the word of the Lord, which says we are not wrestled against flesh and blood, but the principalities and powers. So you don't need to see that woman as your enemy. Face the Lord, and the Lord will help you. Shall we bow our head this morning? Could you please speak to the Lord and say, Lord, I need your help. I need your help. Help me. Speak to God right now. Help me, Lord. Help my unbelief. I want to walk with you. I want to walk in your way. I want to do according to your will. Help my unbelief, Lord. Help me, Heavenly Father. Help me, Heavenly Lord. Begin to make that prayer right in your heart. Whatsoever is the door that was shut against you, I decree the opening now in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatsoever is the challenges that is facing you right now, that shall be your stepping stone in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatsoever is the enemy pursuing you today, whatsoever is the power of demons, Satan pursuing you today, I decree your release in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, everlasting Father. Thank you, everlasting Lord. For unto you alone be the glory forever. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen.